In this video, we are going to look at the coordinate plane. So in the past, when we've seen the coordinate plane, we've really just worked with what we call quadrant one, which is positive values of X and positive values of Y, right? You're used to seeing graphs that just have kind of this L shape and have numbers starting at zero and going up on your X axis and the same on your Y axis. Okay, but now we're actually going to be looking at the coordinate plane and all four quadrants. So you'll see that we've got quadrant one that you're used to. Then we have quadrant two, which has negative X values, but positive Y values. Quadrant three has negative X values and negative Y values. And then you have quadrant four, which has positive X values and negative Y values. Then we have our origin point right here in the middle at zero, zero. So first, let's just take a look. Let's see if we can identify the ordered pairs for these points. So starting with T, okay, I can see that T here, right, is at three on the X axis, right? This is my X axis, I find three, and it's at negative three on my y axis. So I could say that t is at the point 3, negative 3. Okay, then if I look at the next point u, I see that u is at negative 3 on the x axis and positive 1 on the y axis. So I could write the ordered pair negative 3, 1. Then for v, I see v is at negative 4 on the x axis and it's at negative three on the y-axis. Then I see W. W is right here at zero on the x-axis and two on the y-axis, so that would be zero, negative two. And finally, my point X is at two on the x-axis and two on the y-axis. So it's at two, two. Okay, finally, we can look at plotting points. So this first one, I want to plot point A at negative 2, 3. I'm going to find negative 2 on the x-axis. That's here, and I'll just kind of create a line with my highlighter. And positive 3 on the y-axis. That's here, and I can create a line. Now, where those two lines intersect, that's where my point goes. So I want to clarify that those little marks I made with my highlighter are not part of this point. That was just helping me find where it should go and showing you, okay, here's where negative two on the x-axis is, here's where positive three is on the y-axis, but I would simply make this point and call that point A. And I could erase the highlighter marks. Okay, you don't have to go mark anything when you're making it, but I often see the mistake when I say negative two, three, I'll see people put a point here, and I'll see people put a point here, okay? That's not what we're looking for. You could create, if you need to create a little dotted line, you can do that, but we just want this single point. A is at negative two, three. Okay, then we've got point B, which is going to be at zero on the x-axis. That's my origin, right? Right in the middle, the intersection of all of these, and negative 3.5. So negative 3.5 isn't labeled on my graph, but I know that that'll be halfway between negative three and negative four. So once again, I know that my X is at zero, so that's right here. And then I will follow that down. Again, I'll use a highlighter to show you. I'll follow that down until negative 3.5. So that's where my point B would go. And once again, that highlighter was just to show you where I was looking. So that would be how we could plot these points in the coordinate plane. 